I'm taking some Viridian, a little bit of transparent red oxide, a little bit of lemon yellow. I'm going to block in some of these colors. Back in behind the trestle. A little bush off to the side here. Add a little white to lighten it up. all the background behind the foliage. And I like to pick out the darkest darks. Using some ultramarine blue, alizarin, and the transparent red oxide, which gets really dark, almost a black. Separating between the trees here. Just working in a few of the rocks in the foreground so you know where they're at. It's a beautiful little bush here that will come in a little later. And if you look close at that scene, you can see that there's a real dark greenish gray back in here along the sides and in the distance here underneath the trellis. And of course, in front of that would be the little clumps of green you see in the grass. I'm adding a little the blue into the water here for reflections. These are the fun parts of painting when you can go and add these little things at the end or towards the end. A bit of cobalt blue in the sky here to warm it up, to cool it off, whatever you want. Some artists call these sky holes where the sky kind of peeks through. 